A lovely evening to everyone from the busy city of Omaha, Nebraska, United States. It is home to many universities, including the University of Nebraska at Omaha and Creighton University. It also hosts the College World Series of Baseball every year, which brings many visitors to town. But this week, it's the world coming to the Ralston Arena for the Curling World Cup Leg 2. And tonight, we have mixed doubles action as the teams make the ice for our feature game. Here in session 11, it is China taking on the USA, the home country, and playoff implications. Let's meet the teams for China. Female Huang Rui and Ba Dushin. They'll be taking on Team USA, Tabitha Peterson and Joe Polo. Here's where we are in mixed double standings. In Group A, Switzerland wins tonight. They can clinch a spot in the final. They lead that one with 11 points. While in Group B, a lot to be determined. Norway on top, 3-1 record, 9 points. China and the U.S. who are playing must win for both sides, while Russia's at 1-3 and three with 3 points. How they get those points? You win the event, you get 10 points. You lose the event final, you get 5. Then 3 if you win a game in regulation in the 8 ends. As we see, two points for a shootout win. The quick handshakes of the mixed doubles. Two players apiece. As we get started for session 11, let's look at the games going on here this evening. A full slate again. Mixed doubles, it's Russia against Norway on sheet A. Sheet B, it's China, Scotland in women's play. Back to mixed doubles on C, our feature game. And then the women on sheet D, Japan against Sweden. And rounding out Korea versus Switzerland in mixed doubles play. It's time to get it going again. Session 11. Luke Coley will bring in Rona Howie here shortly. As the teams get set, China will start with the hammer. They're into the second part of the double round robin. Must win for both sides. Sitting it with that 2-2 two and two record. In this exciting, fast-paced mixed doubles format. Here are the rules of play. Eight ends must are scheduled. If it's tied after eight, it goes to a single stone shootout. The modified free guard zone where you have five. Fourth stone you can't hit till the fourth stone of the end. The one power play we'll get to later on. No timeouts and it's time per end. Three minutes for the first four per end. And then the last four, three minutes, 15 seconds. Joe Polo for Team USA, the 35 year old. It's run the first and last for Team USA. And Rona, both these teams have felt everything out. They got a good feel for the ice now at this point. Let it all loose here at this stage of the event. Absolutely. As you said, it's a must-win game for both these teams. They're on to the second half of their double round robin. Wang Rui. This Chinese team was fourth at the Olympic Winter Games. Yep, they were saying they haven't played any mixed doubles games. Since the Olympics, they've been playing in the respective men and women's teams. Yeah, okay. So this is really the first time since their appearance in Pyeongchang. Well, maybe took them a few games to get back into it to get a feel for it. Tap with the Peterson will throw the middle three. Seeing this American team really the only one consistently having the male partner throwing the first and last. But again, it's a team dynamic however you feel comfortable. Seem to work. They're a two and two record right now. That's good. I didn't want to move it because we're shot. And as you saw from the standings, Canada lower in their group. They have been eliminated. They will not be making it to the final. They, John Morrison, Kaylin Park, won't keep the title in mixed doubles for the 
Canadian side. A different winner to go to the grand final. Which the organizers would like. It makes things a lot easier than if you have multiple winners. Yeah, and it's good to see for the sport as well. Strength all over the world. Badushin trying to line these ones up. No stone can be removed till the fourth one comes. Until the fourth stone of the end being thrown. It's all fair game now. They guard? I mean, they have tap tap here, right? I don't think he's got much here because it's going into this side over this way. Do you think middle 12 is good? Yeah, middle 12 and just kind of throw a three. Okay. Feels light to me. So USA just deciding to put up a guard. Sit, 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 sit. sit edge to edge. Okay. Well, these two have played already. Of course, the double format, double round robin format. It was a 6 5 China win. So Bandishan can't see the whole of this red stone. But he can't see enough just to tap. Pass the top one. And the tap, tap. Ah, great shot. But how would they get two? Try and play that tap tap again. Yeah, so I think we'll see a guard on the other side, maybe from the yeah, USA here. I can probably give you a similar weight over here. Yeah, similar weight. Well, they're very happy just trying to hold China to a single point. It's curling a lot now. Mine's okay. Look at that curl. So it does cover the red. Makes it hard for China to tap, tap. Okay, try a double peel to open it up. Yep, the good. Because China really are lying pretty well in the head. Just gonna try and come around. Okay. That's a long way to draw. Here it comes. Has it got the weight? Well, it's usable there. Is there an angle to, to play in there? Do you want to go the other way? I 
So I think we'll see USA just guarding this again, trying to make it very difficult for China think, like, to get a second counter. It's been curling like five feet, so I think I want to be just outside edge of four. Yeah, because you can be like close. a whole rock this way even. Yeah, we just don't want to leave a hole, that's all. So changing to the out turn to guard. A little early. Just worried they can't hold it in that spot because the amount of curl. Yeah. It's me a little bit of the straighter spot. I mean, just want to pull it over so that it makes it very difficult for China to come around. That works too. Well, another guard goes out, so protecting. This one's in the house. Yikes. Does the job. Yeah. Sizing up a run back. Just wrong too. Unless she just tap, tap, tapping. She makes that good honor. Well, I think the one they're talking about. Straight down the center. That guard. Yeah, the yellow that's on the center line, which is quite difficult. We'll see what kind of weight thrown here with the last stone of the first end. There is a slight check on this stone. Has to skim the other one. Well, it doesn't curl up. And they'll go over the top, so all that. And a single point for China with the hammer to start off. Session 11, China, USA in mixed doubles play. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> A warm welcome back inside the wall of the Ralston Arena. Rona Howie here with myself, Luke Coley, as we begin mixed doubles. Session 11, that's the fifth game for both these teams. They'll have one more after it. No, no, no. Previous game between these two was a win for China as we look over Korea and Switzerland. Switzerland with the win can clinch a spot in the final on Sunday. Young Hairi trying to get to that button. Looks like the Swiss Yellowstone is lying short at the back of the button. And just comes up short. So a steal of one for Switzerland. A good start for them. Yet to lose. The only points they haven't got was a shootout win. They didn't get the full three points for that. They just got two. We were talking before, Rona. It's kind of surprising that's the only shootout we've seen so far throughout the entire Curling World Cup, leg two. Yep, we've certainly seen the mindset change of teams in the last couple of ends. 
They're going for the win, they're going for the steal in that eighth end. They don't want to go to a shootout because it is less points. So this one's really over curling. Oh. So a big pocket there now for USA. You like that? That's pretty good. Back it, move it back. Like that? if we could just I think you're gonna be middle. Tell Dropnik. What? Talking it through. I think you have to move that it off a little bit, right? I mean, I was move just it to the back the of the uh, 12 foot, back of the eighth. We're trying to keep it that your side. Of the There's still lots of discussion about strategy in mixed doubles because it's still evolving. The, the first few years of it, they were tweaking the rules and trying to get the rules set for its debut at the Olympics, which was this February, and it went over very well around the world Wait and now trying to keep growing the sport Wine's getting better. Yep, hard job. everyone trying to get that hard book hard that hard proper hard strategy what do you do in this situation yep, 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 yep. Yep, the world curling federation are already looking at uh, sweet, a vast number of countries yeah, wanting to enter the mixed doubles for the world championship so i'm looking really at having an a division and a b division and they're trying to develop into a possible doubling the field at the Olympics. They're looking at trying to grow it that way. Eight teams at the Olympics this year, maybe even 16 come 2022. Where China will be the host country, so they will have a team guaranteed there. Yep, we guaranteed a men's, a women's, and a mixed doubles team. Trying to hold the line past that top one. Is it ever curling that way? Get right in behind. Touch that yellow. Look over at Japan, Sweden. This is in women's play. Yeah, they can't use it. Yep. Sweden are line two. Satsuki Fujisawa. Oh. Going for the double. Coming in unbeaten yeah, yeah, yeah. so far yeah. on the event. Yeah. It's then has she got it? And she has. Stay, stay, is it going to stay? stay. <laughs> oh, spins <laughs> back in. Gets the friend friendly. Curl back in, and an early two for Japan. <laughs> oh, they're happy with that. They can go to 4-0 oh and in a good position to try and get to that final as they take on the reigning Olympic champion who have had quite a year, number one ranked team in the World Curling Tour and Anna Hasselborg. They can eliminate that Sweden team with a win. Maybe their second win here against them. Anna Hasselberg just coming off a European gold win last week. So they would have been hoping to have fared better here. Chinese coach Daniel Raphael come full circle. He was with the Chinese Association back and growing to the 2009 World Championship title by Bing Yuang. Now he comes back to the Chinese Association to help try and get them towards the Olympics 2022. Yep, and we're seeing more and more of that, of uh, countries bringing in foreign coaches to help develop their teams. Okay, 
，力量够就不擦也行，别磕太大。Like chip roll off of it, that Yellowstone lonely, but not really going to go anywhere at this point. It's not, and it's probably easier now for USA to tap and potentially get in for that second counter. Way it sits right now, I think it's that yellow one that's just shot. Just hit the like three quarters of it was back line. Back line. Yeah. yeah. So you see, Tabitha. Now we're just going to play a tap back. Try and sit this yellow on top of our other yellow. It's pretty good. Hold on. This is high of line, though. It's not curling for them. They're trying to get just a little piece of it. They'll move the back one. Need the real good eye to determine who shot stone. Alright, gotta get those two. Yeah. 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 China need to be a wee bit careful here. Ah, Throwing weight. They're looking at the yellow onto red onto yellow across the house. Because it is very dangerous to try and hit the yellows on the forefoot. So the yellow, as you see there on the right hand side, just biting the forefoot, trying to punch that onto the red, onto the yellow. Well, that symbol here, Wang Roy. Can't see much of that yellow stone. Nothing Has yet. Has she made contact? Oh. Goes right by. It was very close to making contact. Yeah, now. What does you have USA have left? Joe Polo heading down quite quickly. I think we're not, it's close, I don't know. Because even if they tap their own yellow onto red, the shooter won't out count. Out count the back right hand red. He's not wasting any time anyway. So final stone. Nine. Okay. Stay close. Looks like maybe just trying to go the yellow Bye. yellow, trying to chip that one in, make sure oh. it's one. I uh, don't need to move it much to guarantee the one. No, chip roll off. And oh. <laughs> they don't get it there. <laughs> they will measure. After all that, he only needed to move it an inch to guarantee the one. Well, I Just thought it was one. I thought it was yellow initially. With any weight. And you think China yeah, thought it was one ye yellow as well, the way that they played that last stone to try and nick it out. It's close. I mean, I think it's not bad. Yeah. Just a little too much. Well, maybe it's not us. Oh, it's close. That's not very low, yeah. Yeah. I'll take a look. It's. I'm going to stick with I think it's yellow. Yeah. OK, I'll say red. <laughs> so they'll yeah, have the official just, come uh, do the measure. She slides out nice, but as soon as she overextends, it goes out. Don't, don't think then too just, much. And just pound it right away and, and, and keep it straight in the beginning, yeah, right? Sure. Like if you take less broom and hit it right away and then let it take its natural path, right? Yeah. And it's just getting it out there. Sure. Kind of let it take a natural instead of hoping it, praying it grows. Well, just 
fine way. Good listen in to when the, they can talk to the coaches and that between ends and during the game that little bits that they can chat about. Uh, Yellow? Yeah. Oh. So I'll take that one I did pick first. So it is a single point for the U.S. They do get one, so we are all square. One, one through two ends At of play. First, I didn't know if you saw that shot on the other side there that she played. I was, I was a little worried. Yeah. Samis. Measure to determine that single point in the second end. 1-1 one, one. mixed doubles here at the Curling World six. Cup, leg Pretty two. Close. Just clean it. Got to curl a little bit. Weight's still good, seven. Oh, really USA, nice. China. Really Both nice. teams, six. two and two coming in. It's okay. It's okay. And we've seen a lot of congestion in the forefoot from both sides in the first two ends. It's been a fun-filled first couple ends. Freeze made, Wang Ray. Big sweep to get by. So just a little tap pushes those ones back. Keep that right angle. Great angle. Bartishan just looking to change the angles about a bit. Just want to tap. Just moves it ever so slightly and keeps their stone in front. Yeah, I don't think Why not make it a third it, straight end with mess of the forefoot? Thank At you. least this end we know exactly who's lying short at the moment. <laughs> but that could all change. Was like a little left. But that's what adds to the excitement of this new mixed doubles discipline. Lots of stones okay, in play. Angle's yep, 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 so yep. important. Yep. Set them up. Yep, yep, yep. From the word go. Mine's close. Mine's close. 
Yep, 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 did it end up better with that little chip off the red? Did it ended up in a really good position for the USA. Those reds are very vulnerable now. Okay. Okay. Let's look in Japan, Sweden. 2 nothing. Japan leading. No, but Sweden are lying one. They're just trying to work out how to get in for their second shot. Having to take very wide ice. Anna Hasselberg trying to draw around the Japanese counters. Actually, move it at least here. Needs to bite the forefoot. Wait right there. Does it curl up at the end? Oh, so close. That's a great effort because he had to go so wide. Just a one for Anna Hasselberg. So Japan leading that 2-1 after two. Yeah, and it has been one of those weeks where maybe fatigue setting in for Sweden a bit, a lot of curling, a lot of travel. But teams also playing them tough. They're the Olympic champions as well. We'll slide over. Russia, Norway in mixed doubles. Norway coming in leading group B with a 3-1 record, nine points. Kristen Skazlian. Just trying to come and curl up to that one, but it didn't make it, so. Just didn't curl enough at the end. So just a score of one. So that's one all after two. So China, Scotland, second end. This is the last for China without the hammer. There's Skip Yang Yang. Yang. Facing three Scottish counters here, trying to lift them all. Oh, misses it. Look what the Scotland has left now. Eve Muirhead. Draw for four. Just to be past the top red stone to count for four. Sweeper really working this one hard. Is it going to pass the top red? Oh, just rubs off it, but does enough to get four. <laughs> the little rub and roll, good enough for four. That's a nice four by E. Muirhead. Comes in two and one. Just behind Japan right now in women's group B play. Meanwhile, as Ba Dushin just sneaked by the center line guard, made the double. Right now, it's China lying one. You got any? But trying to play the hit is Joe Polo. And he will flash the one he's trying to hit, leaving a draw for two. So this leaves a one of those gimme deuces that could have went the other way. It could have been USA lying three and a draw for a single point. Now it's the draw for two. Okay. It needs to bite the forefoot. Okay. 
开始啊，只是看了下面。其实力量啊 ，OK， 力量挺好，正常踩，力量非常好，可以等啊。别等，别等，正常踩。力量够吗？力量够。下路没问题，正常踩。So gone wide enough to avoid the yellow. 不行，不敢擦。那别擦了。Hoping for a little chip and roll off themselves. We're watching that Scotland game. Able to get the deuce, so a big two-point score by China. They have a three-one game. They lead USA after three. Throw it like an all again. Yeah. <clears throat> Trust it. Get your two here. Good setup. Good setup here. Yeah. Should I be Well, I have the bird oh, where it's it. inside the rod. I mean, if he, if he makes it, I was like, eh. Right. Let's just stop. 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 was a swing back and forth in that third end. Back inside the Ralston Arena. Luke Coley here with Rona Howie. As USA trailing China. USA has the hammer here in the fourth end. 3-1. Mixed doubles action. Okay. Just a little bounce on that behind the T line. How'd it feel? Felt pretty good. I don't think you have to go. It's all there. Well, the important stones have we seen in the first few mixed doubles games. And this first rock of the end by either side, very important. So these first few ends, the stones are all coming back to you, to the one that's pre-placed, and uh, I've not seen any come in just top of the one foot to control that area where it has to be moved. You see the switch of sweepers. Badu Shin getting in there. Wang Ri is coming back in to help. Yeah. They want to get this right on top. Well, in front of the T line. That's where you said, Rona. Yeah, I think so. Try and come down in front of that one now. Yeah, we'll just try and half check it. Line's good, Joe. Line good, whoa. Line's good. Line's good. Go ahead. We're bumping. So just bump that red up. That'd keep it a little higher. That yellow there is very usable now for USA. Yeah, they're still going hard with 
draw weight. Oh yeah. Anything more than that though is just gonna run a little bit. Yeah. Because I went back to middle 12 there. And it curled nice. I was maybe a little tight at middle 12. Yeah. Look, there it is. Shot stone. Huh? Okay. Ray just went down to take a look from the other end to see if they're decision making. Okay. Yeah, China could have come down the other side onto their own reds, half round the yellow. It's just been played by USA. I can't speak anymore of it the whole way. But it does guard that side. So the intern side now is there for Tabitha. No, you're going into it, so you're hitting like three quarters. So just stop nose, yeah. Three quarters, yeah. Okay. What are they playing oh, to peel, the, peel the guards? So there's a way into that red there. But they would like to score two here. Close. Try and make this yeah. double peel. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clear the front. <laughs> and good. Very nice, that... Devil Peel made look simple by Tabitha Peterson. Yeah, hit it absolutely perfectly. Good. Opens right up. Yeah, that stone placement important, and it is USA sure, lying they one. Sure touch that guy. So China looked at guarding, but now decided they're going to play the hit in this top yellow. And they will peel it out. Hit it. I, I'd like not to kill ours. That's the only thing. Yeah. Okay, what if we do this? This double and roll here. Then he makes a double. I like moving these around a little bit. I do but too. Maybe just back line and get right here. Okay. So move those red ones around. The peel the double peel opens everything up, that's Thought China might guard again. We're gonna play something quiet. They played big weight to peel that one out. Important placement where they tap these red stones around to. Yeah! Hack wheat, top back. Real close on that and just moves him around ever so slightly. That's not bad. China could draw in and freeze dead yeah. onto that yellow at the back of the one foot and make it very difficult for USA. Because by hitting here, they're actually making it easier for USA to score. Yeah, it looked like they talked about hitting that one. I thought you said Rona just freeze to that one right on the button. Yep, they are. Uh, Dead freeze, but a lot of curling to do. 
Here it comes. What can they hold it? It made its move. Oh, that really dived. Fuck. Well, that turns out devastating for Wang Rui. Yeah, because it, it plenty line. It's well wide. That way's probably the easier shot. What is? Just seemed to really cut halfway down. And once it moves, there was no comes? way of, of holding the line. And there is a big draw there, but it just seemed to... I don't know whether they'd gone wider so you get a bigger movement down the hill. Because the weight was good. It's okay if you're out. Yeah. I'll be kind of a heavy draw to take some of the curl out of it. Okay. So a great chance now for I USA. Hey, hey, I know. Score three. Coming down. Oh. Oh, yep. Oh, yes, yes. Hard tap. Oh, big sweep. Got to get past that top red. They touch it. And we'll roll just yep. Yep. enough. It looks close. It's two for sure. I thought three. Yeah, I think it's three. Two for sure. Okay, two for sure. Okay. And they will have another measure. You get to pick first. I would say it's yellow this time. Looks like us from here. Yeah. Had to throw it hard to get through the hole. It does look like three. We'll see another measure. Either way, the U.S. will be tied at worst. Yeah. Possibly one up. Yeah through four ends of this pivotal game really in mixed year. doubles group B. <laughs> <laughs> it's good we got that one out in the first half this time, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Think of the positives, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, yeah, Joey. You, you can't, right? Yeah, I would say it's definitely, yeah. Just under two. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it is the three for Team USA to the delight of the crowd. They take the lead halfway through this game. It's session 11, a 4-3 USA lead over China. Keep making shots. Last two ends were all over them. Last, last three ends, really, right? First end, too, really. Yeah. Keep making them make shots. Keep doing just fine. First end and look at the mess of stones in the rings. China lying one has the hammer. Wang Lerui, long, difficult run back, but doesn't curl up enough to try and run those reds in. And a single point early on for the Chinese. And right back, similar situation, lots of stones around. Tough to get in there for a second. Joe Polo has the opportunity. Just not going to curl up enough to get to that yellow. Oh. And it is close. They look at it. It took a measure. Yeah. And it is a single for Team USA. Well, oh. mistake by Joe Polo with his last for Team USA. Flash the hit. Means open draw. Wang Rui to draw for two. So the deuce for China in that third end. And then a game both China and U.S. will be keeping an eye on is Russia and Norway. And look at all those yellows right around. Last stone upcoming. Belonging to Norway. Kristen Skazlian. Move that red one out. Chance for three, four. 
Agnes Nedregotten. This team at three and one, they lead their pool. Not trying to tap, just trying to chip that one in. And there's the indication, so two for Norway. And they cut into the lead. 4-3 the score in that one as they're halfway through. On sheet A, on sheet B, women's play. Scotland leading China 4-2. We're on sheet C, 4-3 U.S. lead. 2-1 Japan leading Sweden in women's play. And 6-1 Switzerland up over Korea. Again, Switzerland wins. They are into the final on Sunday. <laughs> Almost over communicate on the second half about lines and tracks yeah. and where we can err on things. Sure. Um, so this Jose well, discuss the next half of this game. Let's look at what happened in the first four. The stats, 4-3, the U.S. leading 83-69%. to and Draws for the U.S., 75-50 to for hits advantage. 83-65, to it's been, stats say, a, a lopsided one for the U.S., but only a one-point lead halfway through. Time to get started here. The second half of this game. Rona Howie. 14. Alongside myself, Luke Coley here for end number five, USA China. China will have the hammer. And the US will try and continue to keep the pressure. The stats show a, a lopsided yeah. game, but really hasn't oh, so. been. Okay. Line can curl a yep, little stats bit. are only a guideline. It's the scoreboard that tells the story. Go ahead and switch. Just to the side of the button. So in the second half of this game, three minutes, 15 seconds now for each end. Thinking time. That's a nice stone there. Good angle. But we've seen in these mixed doubles games this week, look how the scoreboard can change very quickly. Yeah, it doesn't take much, just that half shot. And then your opponent makes a great one. And you can see three, four put up very easily. Look at Tabitha Peterson, 83% on the game. Sit. Trying to freeze that one. Sit, 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 sit. Just a little too much weight there, or didn't curl. They'll be kind of on that side of the rock, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Ba Dushin, 71%. I quite like to get the inside of this top yellow. Just flop over. It's not curling though. Very weight sensitive. You get in that proper weight and it will curl. Yeah, I like that. I think you gotta go this way. Yeah. So that intern freeze right in on top. A regular a team game very much about the angles, even more so mixed doubles with just the five stones per team. Again, they do each have a power play where they can start the end with the stones off to the side of the sheet. Rona, it's red that shot stone right now. Yeah, I would agree with you there. Well, look in uh, China, <laughs> Scotland. And another miss by China. Multiple point end brewing for Eden Muirhead. Yeah, Scotland line two. So a draw for three. Needs to be biting eight foot. Well, no, Eve Muirhead, her team played at the first leg, but she did not. She was really still good. rehabbing a, from hip it's surgery at the end of last season. Sweeper's nursing that in nicely. Yeah. So that's another three for Scotland. 7-2 after four ends. Normally, this Eve Muirhead team doesn't come in under the radar, but with way Bruce Mowat and his uh, men's Scottish rank coming off the European gold, and the way Anna Hasselborg and her team have been playing, just sort of sliding in here, doing their thing. Yep, absolutely. It's a little tap, pushes that one in. Right on the nose might be really good, actually. Do you like peel weight? Oh yeah, throw it good and hard. Okay. I'll Shouldn't probably go middle of the Throw rock, it good and hard. <laughs> that must mean you need to move some granite. They go with that red into those, the one that was just tapped up. Well, good and hard, but still in control for Tabitha Peterson. Red into those two reds. Gets rid of two. That one was going to. Sorry, Joe. Backed up at the end. They're hoping to go clean into it without touching yeah. their own. Unfortunately, they did. Yes! Whoa, whoa, whoa! If it doesn't touch that yellow, I think you're, they're okay. Yeah. Okay. That one was going to. Way better. It was looking really good. And then it like. Just backed up. Yeah. Right? Jeez. So a chance now for China to come in here. If they were to just tap that red back onto the yellow, it'd be very difficult. For okay. so USA to remove it. Okay, okay, well. Okay, no, As we were talking about, one stone can turn an end <laughs> very quickly in mixed doubles. And didn't miss it by much. Wow. No. And this is wide. Now yeah, that'll change things as well. Oh. They chip it right over the top. Slide over. Japan, Sweden, women's play. Uh, Anna Hasselberg, Swedish side, line one guarded. Satsuki Fujisawa going for an angle raise to oh. the forefoot. Oh, just caught the. Other top yellow. So a steal of one for Sweden. So that levels that game two all after four. Okay. Okay. You like that versus 
I like seeing the aggressive call that the attempt at the angle raise. Fujisawa, not afraid. So as long as you're not like somewhere here where they can fuck you're anywhere here, they're not gonna double step do it. Yeah. You have a minute. Whatever so you want. That was a missed opportunity the there from China. Bit, yeah. If you like that, that's fine. I'm good drawing. Draw was my gut, so let's play okay. draw. Yeah, I agree. Well, shots known for Team USA right now. Could play a hit and roll, but it leaves a pocket to draw to. Yeah, they can come in here top of the one foot, lie two, really put the pressure on. Chance we score too, so. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Mm. how about Dizani now? Dizani will not be happy with that result. He had the chance to lie to. Belt there, tap. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. Wait's good, Joe. Okay, top button. Line's really good. Top button. Oh. 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 Well, trying to go just in front of the T line. Oh, yes, going okay. back. However, no. they do cover the pin. It just looks like it's dying and then just keeps gliding. Good job. Yeah. 83% I mean, on the game for Joe Polo. Foot shorter. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> so good. She still has to move it to the score right and away. stay there. Okay. So with that covering pin, China need to move it to get short, but it is going to jam on the yellow. Need to get as close to nose then. Wang went away, has had some misses in this game, 61%. It's going to curl enough. Got to tap that yellow one back. Do they push it far enough? And they won't. It'll be a steal of one for Team USA. We'll increase their lead now. 5-3. We are through five ends. It's session 11. Two point advantage now with three to play. Sweep it. As soon as she swept it, it went out about this much. Go out. Gonna take her broom away. I think the throw it in the crowd. I think the last eyes, but I think maybe clean up. No, no. You have to wait. Be patient. Here. Stay close. Whoa. Whoa. So U.S. continues to lead. They extend it now to two points. As we have a power play in effect here. On power play, push that one to the side. Because you can't remove stones, they're trying to chip that one off. That would come off the wall I liked your really They replace yeah. the stone. Okay. Mixed doubles a little different. Can't hit anything until the fourth stone of the end. Yep, regardless of where it, where it is. 
whether it's short or not. So with the missed chip shot by Team USA, how does China go about using their power play? Yeah, so China have used power play here so they can try and score multiple. So they can bring another one right round this guard. Ooh, which they <laughs> just got past. Look at it come out the other side. Oh. Big swing there. I think so. I think so, unless you like freezing. Just casually letting that one get by that guard. Huh? I'm good with tapping it in. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so you were edge or no? I was I took this far outside edge, so okay. I think if you take edge you're good. They could have just drawn the other side to keep an open head when they've got last stone, but may as well use that guard to their advantage right now. Tabitha Peters trying this again just to nick her yellow across. Put yeah, a little shooter in the barrier. And a little different. They can't even remove their own stone. No. Oh, is it going to sit? Just. Well, that time you got to the okay. guard's still in the same place. You see the oh, one with the off, black uh, logo on it. It's the one put in play to start the end. <sighs> Two misses to start the end by Team USA. They could freeze this back yellow. Now China. Just make it difficult for USA. The problem is that the more and more you bring round that corner guard, the more likely you're going to leave a double or triple takeout. Oh, did they leave it too far and not get it in? Don't know if it is in the rings or not. Very, very close. <laughs> Looks like there is some white, but remember, that's a look from over above, over the button, so remember that angle that's going at it. Let's see if the rings are perfectly painted in the lines as well. We'll see if it comes into play here. It's fourth shot at the moment. This one needs to curl. Catch yeah. what you can see. Oh, just oh. gets by. Wow. Oh, we lost it. I think it picked or something. That really made a jump. It shoot. We almost crashed. Like it was yeah. way over off. here. Either yeah, took off or it that's what we saw earlier on. Remember with the Chinese stone when Wang Rei was drawing and it looked really wide and then just couped sideways. Wow. Well, Not the end of the world. Hit the open one a couple of times. Even so However, it is in for second shot. So Badashin just drawing the other side now. It needs to be. In the eight foot to out count the other yellow. This is going over curl. And then it does, so it's not even second shot. We're shot. Like this is shot, this is second. Yeah. I don't want to tick ours. Want to just drill it? Any other thoughts from other than what Joe was looking at? Yeah, you can you see like? why Tabitha's. I think I like freezing ours. Weirdy, but. Uh, two ours? Yeah. Okay. Corner freeze ours is pretty good. Or 
And then even they if can't we just make sneak, even if we, no, it's just there's okay. jams in there. Okay, I like that then. What if USA just goes to Same the center nice. of the house? Take a, it's it's more. Hopefully, yeah. get a nose hit, and then you have a double. Got more weight. Oh, then. Tabitha didn't sound sold on this call. No, she didn't. Try to get just past ours, Tab. She doesn't want no. to roll off and leave a double. Yep. Real big, try and get past their own. Oh. Oh, no. <sighs> so that one yellow will catch the side red, <laughs> but that was the problem with USA coming in to close to their own stone. The chance of leaving the double was pretty high. Yeah, I don't think you make this without losing that red one. No. But if they can move that left-hand yellow out a bit, then the red on the right-hand side of the house comes into play. However, it's got to make it. Absolutely. Last of the middle three here. Badushin. Whoa! Whoa! Catch oh, it thin, up. spin him out. Hard snap. Hard snap. Go. Oh, look at <laughs> that, spins shot. that out. <laughs> and it is to lie. Three, maybe four. <laughs> I think that yellow might have hit the wall. Yeah, it hit the barrier. Sure. Okay. Well, just checking with the official, but. Hard to believe that wouldn't be out. <laughs> we smile. He's happy with that result. Great opportunity. Now it brings that top one into play, whether it's a biter or not. Yep. And the side one that wasn't counting now is. Watch them fly. That yellow on the side will go straight out. It actually went over the top. Yeah, really good shot. Unfortunately, USA gave them that to play. All there. Easy. Stay close. It's close, Joe. Yep. Line only. Line only. Whoa. Whoa. Eight. Whoa. Eight, nine. Whoa. Whoa. They know it comes big at the end. Don't want to rub off. A oh. little chip and bounce. A great opportunity now for China. Sorry, Knows Dad. it, and it's okay. four. Possibly five. Freaking unlucky. What? Just unlucky on yours. Well, I don't think we should have played that. Probably not. Because I thought maybe there could be a double. Yeah. Just hit the open one. Well, I thought. I thought I could. Yeah. Okay. 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 The wise words after the event. Well, and oh, she's playing a bigger weight at this than we maybe thought. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think she needed to play this as heavy. No, try and hit and remove that one. We'll peel that out. And we'll be two. They'll take a look. We might throw that on to see if it's in. Well, it does come in. Now we'll see. Is it in, Rona? Um, yes. I was just very surprised that Wang Rui threw as much through weight peel, at that. Through peel weight? Yeah. Oh, we'll find out how true these rings were put in. Ice makers love this when they go out to test to see how true the rings are. Oh. He wanted me to freeze on ours. Definitely in. Oh. And it is out. That was again like that shot earlier in the game. Like stick to that shot. Yeah. And call the sweep. Just call to sweep it onto it, right? Sure. You know, we tried to change. What a missed opportunity from China there. Transfer. Well, asking the official he ran it, he didn't think it was in and he moved the rock out. He just see the no, keep, Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. I can trust him, I yeah. guess. Okay. okay. Oh. Here's the measure. 
He does it all the time. Calls it out, oh. and then he moved the stone before it was visible by the team. I see. What happened? In or out, Joe? Out. So it is just okay. two, and we have a tie game. So the U.S. dodges a bullet in that end. Okay. Now, 5-5 five, five into 7. Okay. Good shots. Try make some good shots. Too much. Yeah. Right, we have to use that I think we probably do, right? Yeah. Well, flat on scoring, then you don't use it now, but you're not going to have it. Unless you're flat on giving them a steal. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to use it. Uh, because if we it. score one without using it, we're still not yeah, going to be able like to use inside, it. But. Make it really nice, sir. And their power play is gone, right? So yeah. that's, a, that's the other bonus of it. Yeah. Good call. Keep making shots. <laughs> like I said you threw that one good if you know if we just Yeah. No, I know. I was like, are you sure there's no double? If there's any chance of yeah, right. a double, just then it, I want to go. Just over hit here. it over there and, yeah. you, and then play that on your last one, right? We are all square, 5-5. Five, five. And trying to use the power play in six. Now it's Team USA setting up their power play <laughs> in the seventh end. Not the China will be disappointed with their power play. They had a chance for a four. They had the opportunity in the US. Very lucky, heard themselves talking about the decision making in that end, and very lucky that they're tied right now as opposed to giving up when you said Rona is that four. Okay. Seventh end, two, two and two records for both these teams. So we saw the last end that uh, Tabitha went to tick the guard in the power play, whereas China putting up the center guard. They want to control the center of the sheet. We could play the tick, play the but tick. then we don't get another one in the house. We might get because it's high. We might get this one in the house. I think it's. Close. Oh. They don't want to the tick the red onto the yellow. But no, I don't think he's going to make contact. Well, they went with Joe's decision the last time that they ended up both looking back and saying probably wasn't the best as we'll look over Russia, Norway, mixed doubles. Sixth and five, three, Russia leading. Norway line one. So Kristen Skazlian has a draw for two. Well, both are China, USA in our feature game. Looking on, keeping an eye on this one, knowing that Norway is a game ahead of them. Norway will play China tomorrow in the last mixed doubles game. Yeah, plays it perfectly. So a two for Norway ties the game after six. Oh, oh, slide two. Women's play 7 2 the score. And look at those yellows. It is almost Christmas season. Yeah. Christmas tree effect. effect. That's it. Scotland line three. So China looking quite wide at the moment. It's got a long way to draw. It's on the top one. Just taps it up, so it's a steal of three for Scotland. 10 2. After five. Well, the USA made that run back. Decision to play the tick didn't work, but playing hits to try and generate offense with that power play hasn't really. Okay, Set up so well for Team USA so far. Okay, 
That yellow guard is quite long. So even if China do come round it, it's fairly straightforward for USA to come and tap back. You're up the top, it's not a big deal. Yeah. What kind of weight do you like? Board. I think I'm going to throw hack. Throw hack. I only have a piece of it, so. Okay. So I took edge of four, or just inside edge of four foot when I threw that. Okay. So. Okay. Yep, that's the line that uh, Joe came down on his tick shot. Looks a little soft. Yeah, it is. Whoa! 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 Even if they can tap yeah, back here and roll over yeah. to the wing and have their two counters spread about the house. Is that Team USA lying to? Good shot. Another rock or roll would have been nice, but yeah. pretty good with that. Hack. Really, good, really good hack, yeah. Where were you? Well, I was out of the China would love to force USA to a one here. The power plate. Not going to roll inside. No, not even going to stick around. It'll roll out of play. Another mistake there from Padishan. Too many half shots today. It's been lots of them. They're very fortunate. They're tied in this game right now. So yeah, I like open. Okay. All right, it's gonna move here. So I think I'm gonna go middle of fours. Middle of four foot's good. They split the rings, we'll look in Russia and Norway. Norway lying two. It is the final stone here for Russia. Anastasia Moskaleva. <laughs> Trying to catch the inside of that yellow. Go across for the double. Wow, oh, look at that shot. Three. three. Great shot. Great double. That's not an easy shot to make with a fault with two sweepers and someone in the house. They make the thin double. Three point lead. Fight <laughs> right over Japan, Sweden, and this looks familiar as well to yeah. Fujisawa back in the first end. Sweden line two. Oh, oh, oh. Going for the thin oh. double. Oh, oh, oh. Needs to make contact. Oh, Gotta get something. Oh, caught it too thin. Steal of one for Sweden. Oh. They lead 3 2 after five. Oh. Japan trying to stay unbeaten there. They're at 3 0 coming in. Hasselborg at 1 and 2. They need a win to keep any chance alive. So that rollout, chance for the U.S. to get two with their power play. Sweet. Yep, a very clean end. And that's what they wanted, get their two, and look at that, a two-point lead heading to the eighth end. Both power plays used, so 
China will have to generate some offense in this eighth end to try and tie it up or win. Well, both teams have been able to pick up deuces with their power play back-to-back -back twos. And that means the U.S., that two-point margin, they lead by as we play the eighth end. Both teams two and two. They see the team ahead of them in the standings. Norway losing as well. But have to focus here. Full three points for Team USA would be huge. They know Norway plays China tomorrow. One round robin game remaining. Look at the numbers. It has been an off game. Okay. Okay. Nice shot. One ring. Yeah, front of the T line. The numbers for Tabitha, 75% on her draws. Or a lot more of those than the hits, and that's uh, what this game is, you, edge is good. Yep. primarily made of. I gave it some because I felt okay. like I yeah, slipped it felt a little soft. Looks okay though, it's running, Joe. It's running. Okay. Starting to move. Line's good now. Line's good. That's a beauty. Look at it come down. Oh, great shot. Very nice. And there was some communication about what the stone's doing. It's real important. Let's just try to force one here. What is it? Both in the 70s for Ba Dushin. Working this one really hard to try and get up. Let's check. Very nice. Just keeps the angle enough to tap that one back. Can I chip this one out this way a little bit? You can try that. Look in China, Scotland. She be in women's play. It's not been a good night for China. Has not. Do you like that? 
and facing many Scottish counters end after end. Scotland line three here. China need to virtually bite the forefoot to score one. Yang Yang certainly had her work cut out tonight. Here it comes. Is it going to sit? Vicky Chalmers ready to sweep, but no, it's a score of one for China. Very nice. Good draw there, so 10 3. It's fine, Tab. You know what I mean? They can make this tap tap. And you could have smashed it and get Well, took a little deciding time. China does concede a 10 3 final. Scotland improves to 3 and 1. Okay, no, it's just annoying because it was off boil. Worst one. A good win for Scotland, and depending on what happens, they could be tied for their pool lead heading to the final day. And they'll still play Sweden and Japan tomorrow. So, need to pass the top yellow. Red, tap it up, and there's lying the potential tying points right now. Great shot. I don't think you can hit it too thin. It should just run here. Yeah. Right? I'll just go edge and take edge and I'll sweep it out. Take edge of our back one, so you yeah. got an inch of ice. Yeah, okay. So looking to hit that yellow with weight, Ooh, try and punch a red out. Yes! Yes! Needs to pass the top guard though. Get by, yellow right in, spill all those reds oh. out. Has left a double on these yellows. Bring those other reds into play. For China to lie three. Need a little thinner to try and stick that one. Yeah, Joe swept it as much as he could. Wanted to catch that thinner. Yeah. So it's stuffed. Right. Well, double made here. The U.S. is going to have to make something on their last, or could be a shot for the win. Whoa! Need the shooter to stay and play, though. Well, make the double, and we'll push it far enough. Just. It is China, line <laughs> three. It left a double. They have. Or hit and roll. Oh. Wang Lerae is trying to just keep up with this one. Didn't really see it being made that way. It's, I mean, it should move a little here, Joe. Well. So, Badashen saying, dab. I've done my job. It's up less. to you now. There you go. But can Joe pull the 50% on his hits today? Just one, but... Yeah. Needs a shot to be made. It's right now. Stay there. Stay there. 
stay there. Hang a little. Stay there. Try and make this double and we'll make it. As they know it worse, they've got a shootout. Nervous yeah. moments I for yeah, I thought it would. I know, I Team like, USA. Nothing they, they, they were doing to this one. Yeah. Great double. So but both these teams really wanted oh, the three points from yeah. this game. This has been a back so and forth, up to, and down game, huh? Yeah. A shootout, then maximum will, one of them will get is two. Happiest team out there? Norway. Yep. Knowing that they come in with nine points, neither of these teams can catch them and tie them tonight. Well, wait till we see if Wang Rui makes okay. this draw first. <laughs> As this one will come full 12 foot or better. That's looking pretty good. Yep, perfect. So, a shootout we have. Right to the button goes Wang Rui. Good test for that shootout. Who go first? I think you do. Oh, okay. So, China will go and throw again. And it's set up for the shootout. This is for two points. Loser will get guaranteed one. Seven, seven. Tab's thin and it's looking really good for us. Yeah. Too close. It's also seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. I'm throwing a draw for. That's an expensive. Single shot. So Wang Rei, first to throw. Okay. Just play down this line. Not much Madison, to not sweep out. Stop, stop, stop. Comes down just back button. Pretty good. We said that in the other shootout we had. John Morrison Canada put it similar spot. Yeah. It was then covered by Switzerland and Martin Rios. So they've done all they can. They just need to stand and watch now. Joe Polo will throw for Team USA. This needs full button in order to get that two points. I seem quite happy with it. Just on and off. Looks like a better line than China. Now it needs to just stop. And that'll do it. They cover it. Similar to the previous shooter we see. Cover the pin for the win. Joe Polo. It's a big two points for Team USA. One point for China. Well, they're even putting it up. They're measuring it. Got to measure it twice. Got to like it. I told Derek, I said, geez, who misses? Because of the, what happened over there. Yeah. We're done because we've got to hope for an hour. Huh? Huh? Uh, we have to learn how to play on straight ice. <laughs> All mistakes we make is this side. Only one time on this side. Slide over Japan, Sweden. Lone game left out there as we see. Okay. 
A 4-3 Japan lead. They get two in the sixth end. Third stones for this undefeated Japanese team. Shinami Yoshida. Yeah, don't want to allow a force or, or pardon me, a blank here in this seventh end. 4-3 is the score. Japan with the lead. Sarah McManus peeling that center. Doesn't want to play behind it. Japan sticking to it. Going to throw another center line guard. Shinami Yoshida, 27 years of age. Well, the rock listened, wanted it to stop. They get it to stop out in front. Sarah McManus now for Sweden. Looking to peel the front. Sweden needs a win, otherwise they're eliminated from getting to that championship final. Suki Fujisawa. First of skip stones deciding to draw around that corner, trying to force. Does not want to give Hasselborg a chance to have the hammer in that eighth end. That one goes right through for Fujisawa. Well, and that'll be the decision then for Japan if Hasselborg draws to the open side as indicated. Do you go aggressively to try and draw around? Do you freeze? Willing to give up two to go down one into the eighth end? Japanese coach watching Hun in behind the bench. These two Olympic medalists. Gold for Hasselborg. Bronze for Fujisawa. 29 year old, the top ranked team in the world right now. I want it to be deeper than that. A chance they can try and make the roll across the house, I think. I wonder if you're really trying to force. You draw him behind that wide corner.
とこの辺でないですよね。Well, that's the way that they were playing by putting up those center line guards, playing the come around that yellow stone. This is the aggressive call to try and force it. This is willing to give up two in this end, to be down one playing the eight. Either that or you don't blank the end. Better to give up two in their mind than give up the blank. Having that all important final stone. Satsuki Fujisawa try and draw around it. That can be back eight, back four. Just have to be shot stone. Yurika Yoshida, Yumi Suzuki. Real big sweep, starting to make its move. Look at it, get in behind. Very nice, right to the back of the tee. Muscle board, can you make the run and stick it in the rings? Definitely looks like there is the angle to do so. Well, that's a good look of how they got around that stone top of the 12 foot. So the final stone here, the seventh end, and a Hasselborg. Run it back, remove it, stick it. They'll get just one. They can't hold the one stone they raised. And Japan gets what they want, a force. Meaning it's all tied up, four apiece, heading to the eighth end. The hammer belongs to Japan. Played a great last stone. Run back just missed. And a 4-4 four, four tie. Welcome back to our continued coverage, the Curling World Cup Leg 2. It is session 11. Moved over to the women's side of things. And it is Japan, Sweden. 4-4 four, four is the score after a great force by the Japanese side in that seventh end. Hasbor just narrowly missed that run back. But Japan was willing to take the risk that they give up two. Now the risk has got them in this position. I'm trying the chip. Can't remove that one. Oh, just Hasselborg much. got on that one. This one shot we've seen the lead struggle a bit with this week. Yeah, not as uh, 
<laughs> usual <laughs> see them make it more than we mi they miss it, but. <laughs> see an opportunity for Sofia Mabara. Put up the second center line guard. Yeah, two good guards, good separation. Sara. Sara. Yorika Yoshida. Lead for this Japanese side. This time able to chip it off the center line and roll the shooter into the rings. Accomplishes a couple things by doing that. Agnes knocking her foot under the weather at the start of this competition. All the Swedish team were struggling last week at the Europeans at one stage or another with the sickness bug. So I think they've not really had time to recover from that. There's a good draw around. Right to the top of the eight foot. Now Japan will have to get into the peel game. Yumi Suzuki. Does what she does well. Comes flying over the hack. Peel that high guard. Yep, she's got great leg drive to generate that power. And does it with accuracy. And does it with a small stature as well. Not a very tall young lady. Agnes actually the oldest player on the ice in this sheet right now at 29. Oh, ancient. <laughs> Some center line guard, but tighter this time. Yeah, the double peel is on now. Well, it's up to Yumi Suzuki. Well, make the double peel. I'll have it roll nice. into the rings. I won't worry too much about that, yes. as long as the center's open. So main objective, get rid of both those yellow guards. Is Sweden lying to? Into third stones now for Sarah McManus. Yoshida, play the peel. Pretty simple game plan at this stage right now. Just back and forth, peel the front. Okay. 
lite vidare. Vänta. Lite vidare. Vänta. Agnes närmast. Vänta. Ja, oh, kolla upp. Borde glida mer. Okej. Okay. Kolla Japan upp. Kolla in. upp. Bara ner. Unbeaten. Den bryter nu. Going against Agnes, one and two Sweden. Oh. Sweden can't med afford med to med drop this one. Håll höjd. Nej, bara stanna. Håll höjd bara, tror jag. Se. Nej, håll höjd. Bra. Vad tror ni? Alltså, See the run attempt now by Japan. They're going to play the run back. Is that your best translation yeah. of Japan? <laughs> I agree with you. But <laughs> oh, jump. Well, they'll punch it out in the open, leave the center. Just off. So that guard still covers part of the one foot. Sweden can come round. Well, the intensity on this one. Shinami Yoshida. Only good thing for Japan is if Sweden yeah. do come perfectly around, it is a red that they can raise in for the mm. run back. But they could be facing three Swedish counters. There's a couple side stones if they need it, they can try and come off of. Working this one really hard to try and bury it. Ah, oh, great shot. That's a well judged, well managed stone by that Hasselborg team to put that one right side of the forefoot. Yeah, current European gold medalist, current Olympic gold medalist. It's been some year for this a Swedish medalist. Silver medal at the world. There are no timeouts. ちなみさ、10で。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。
We're not going to get a shootout, that's for sure. Oh, exactly. Somebody's going to win. We may. Yep. There's Stupid. a tie measure. Well, okay. <laughs> never say never. Anna Hasselborg try and make this one better than her first. Needing to steal, try and keep their hopes of any chances trying to get to that final alive. Happy with it, but needs to be comes down a little Just deeper than her other one. Just about a rock deeper. Yeah, but it's now in that position. It's tempting because if Japan call the dead freeze on top to get the shot, but you play an ounce of running, you'll hang. No, all they can do is watch now. Satsuki Fujisawa. This Japanese team trying to stay unbeaten. A win here. Knocks Sweden out of a chance to get into the final. Puts them still game up. Sticking with this intern, but you can actually see a little bit on the other side. Yeah, she could just nick it out. Because the length. Second shot, but she's happy with the dead draw. And knows this spot, just saw it played. Skip stream, draw the button. Well played end by both sides. See how this one finishes off. Now pass the top one. Wow, well, it looks good now, just make sure you move it. Tap it back a little bit, and there it is. Great shot, clutch shot. Two great skip stones there. What a well-played eighth end from both sides. But having the hammer pays off for Japan. They pick up a 5-4 win. Not not Sweden out of any chance of making it to the final. Sweden now 1 and 3, Japan 4 and 0. Oh. Two games remaining in their round robin play. Our feature game was in the mixed doubles. It was an 8-7 win by Team USA over China. So fourth end, Joe Polo with the last shot here. A tap and a chance for Joe Polo and Team USA to cap off a well-played end. Capitalize on some misses by China. They just chip off that red and are able to get two, a measure. They get a third. Big end for Team USA. And a pivotal point of this game. Some questionable calls both sides. Wang Rei throws big weight at this one. Chance at four, possibly five. Big weight peels it off their own. Comes in two, they measure, and it is out of the rings. They did look at it because the official moved it without them all seeing it, but it is only two, which led us to a shootout. China went just back button, so Joe Polo had to be better than that to get two points. Just watching this, need to cover the button. And Joe Polo, Tabitha Peterson, and company celebrate the exciting shootout determines the victor. Polo, Peterson, and Team USA with the win. Kept us alive, we needed that to stay alive. <laughs>
And results here in session 11. 8-6, Russia upends Norway in mixed doubles, while Scotland runs away against China in women's play. 8-7, you saw just there, USA beating China in women's play. Japan beats Sweden, and Switzerland beats Korea 8-1 in mixed doubles play. How the standings are, Switzerland has qualified for the final in Group A, so that's determined. Over in Group B, lots to be determined. Nine points for Norway, eight for U.S. with that shootout win. China at seven, still alive, and Russia rounds up Group B. The difference in the points there was a shootout win by the U.S., not a uh, win in eight ends, which you get three points for. If you end up winning the final, you get ten points. Lose the event final, it's five, and a loss within eight ends, zero points. Joe, Tabitha, congratulations, your third win. A bit of a roller coaster of a game out there. Were you struggling with the ice? Uh, that's that's a good word for it, roller coaster. Yeah, we uh, we have found a little straight spot there, caught us a couple of times, but uh, speed stayed good the whole game. But you managed that draw to the button pretty nicely. Were you happy as soon as they played it? I was. I was like, I think I need to heavy clean this, maybe go a little, but I knew it was close. So as long as I could get the judging right, I think we were in good shape. And what do you think gave you the edge over the Chinese tonight? Uh, you know, it was just, we won a couple of measurements, really. You know, I think, I think we won three measurements that game, so that was, that was big for us. And we've been listening to your communication, um, you know, great communication out there on the ice. Do you have to work at that, or does it come naturally to both of you? We have to work at it a little bit. Um, that was one of our goals this game, actually, was to just yeah. keep the communication up, try to over-communicate, because sometimes if you don't say something, you know, then you can throw the wrong ice. And so, yeah, we've been working on it, for sure. And you're off till 4 o'clock tomorrow. What will you do in your downtime to relax? Uh, I think work wants me to do a few, do a few emails, but uh, <laughs> probably have some good breakfast and get sleep in. Same. Yeah, just relax. Maybe come watch, but... It's nice to have a little bit of a off time. So good. Well, congratulations tonight and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Well, thanks for watching the Curling World Cup for Rona Howie, myself, Luke Coley, the entire crew. Thanks for tuning in.